Good morning, y'all. Wait, God. I'm all with you. God bless y'all. Right. One day at a time. Keep that in mind. Right. You can't have daytime without nighttime. Sometimes, sometimes things gonna look dark. Sometimes things gonna look bright. Right. You're gonna see both. Daytime and nighttime. I like that. Right. Keep on taking your time. You're going to be fine. All right. One step at a time. Take the good with the bad because you got it. You, you have to go through experience both. You can't have one without the not, without the other. All right. You'll be all right. <clears throat> and when things really, really hard, when life hits you at its hardest, uh, don't get too overwhelmed. Keep on praying. Keep on breathing. Keep on waking up. Uh, and you're going to make it through it. All right. All glory, honor, and praise go to my Father in heaven, Lord Jesus, and the sweet Holy Spirit. Got to give credit, honor, and glory to his due. Amen. Whatever today is, uh, Wednesday. Wednesday, May 10, uh, 5.09 a.m., 2023. It is early. I want to go back to sleep. <laughs> uh, God bless y'all, man, for the people. Who pay attention to truth, like I say, um, it's a blessing to be able to do this. I'm going to do this for the people. If it ain't nothing but one person, as long as I can, I hope I can do this the rest of my life. Like, word. <laughs> I, I want to live a simple life. I ain't got no ideas of being <laughs> getting caught up in the world. If I can wake up and have me a little ranch, work outside in, in the yard, Drink my little coffee. What you talking about? I'm good. <laughs> Get the animals. You got the animals and the and the the plants. You got everything you need, bro. Everything you need comes from the animals and the plants. I'm just saying. That's just me thinking. <laughs> it's early in the morning. <laughs> yeah, y'all have a sense of you. Anyway, uh, I forgot what I was talking about. Uh, I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh yes, I started thinking about that little font. Uh, <laughs> yeah, y'all take the good with the bad, man. One step at a time. All right. <laughs> You'll be all right. I damn sure forgot I was about to say. I started thinking about that little farm. Just waking up to uh, Go to Psalms 115. Hey, look, keep this in mind. Nobody perfect. <clears throat> uh, the Lord don't ask for perfection. I'm not perfect. <laughs> I never will be. I have no intentions on being perfect. Perfection is nowhere near my mind. <laughs> it, I don't worry. I, worry. <laughs> I love being me, man. The Lord don't ask us to be this and be that. He wants you to come exactly as you are. You know what I mean? To be you. you know what I mean, that's what he's looking for, for people who are truthful and honest. I need help like y'all need help. <laughs> I say that all the time. People think I'm joking. I'm not where I'm supposed to be, but uh, I'm not where I was. Thank God I don't think the same. And, and, you know what I mean? I want to live a different life. Uh, and just having that is, is a blessing. You see what I'm saying? But you're going to, nobody perfect. You know what I mean? Uh, take the good with the bad and accept who you are. Don't try to be somebody else. Be who you are. The Lord will help you from the inside out. That's what I'm saying. All right? He's not looking for you to put on no show. All right? <clears throat> he wants you to be truthful and honest with him. You be truthful and honest with him. He, he, you take one step, he'll take a mile for you. All right, that's all they're looking for, to fear him. Uh, where to anybody who have respect and fear for God, the Lord uh, will turn to them and show them the next. Uh, Psalms 115, uh, verse 1, bro the brother said, Not to us, Lord, not to us, but to your name be the glory. Amen. Because of your love and faithfulness. Why do the nations say, where is their God? Our God is in heaven. He does whatever pleases him. But their idols are silver and gold made by human hands. <clears throat> they have mouths, but cannot speak. Eyes, but cannot see. They have ears, but cannot hear. Noses, but cannot smell. They have hands, but cannot feel. Feet, but cannot walk. Nor can they utter a sound with their throats. Those who make them will, become, will be like them. And so will all who trust in them. <laughs> all you Israelites, any one of y'all who put y'all faith and trust in God anytime will be included among the tribe of Israel. Uh, <clears throat> trust in the Lord. He is their help and shield. Amen. House of Aaron, trust in the Lord. He is their help and shield. You who fear him, 
trust in the Lord. He is their help and shield. Amen. The Lord, the Lord remembers us and will bless us. Amen. He will bless the house. He will bless. Uh, he will bless uh, his people Israel. He will bless the house of Aaron. He will bless uh, those who fear the Lord. Small and great light. Amen. May the Lord cause you to flourish, <clears throat> both you and your children. May you be blessed by the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. The highest heavens belong to the Lord, but the earth he has given to mankind. It is not the dead who praise the Lord, those who go down to the place of silence. It is we <clears throat> uh, who will start the Lord, both now and forevermore. Uh, praise the Lord. Amen. I like that. I like that. Yeah. I like that. Go on over with me to John chapter 10. Talk about Jesus a little bit. Let me turn my cough. God bless y'all. I like that. I love, I love the fact that God will bless anybody who fear him. You hear me? It's a whole lot of people and a whole lot of situations. They wonder how they come out and come out. I'm telling you how they come out of this and come out of that. You'd be surprised who fear the Lord. I'm telling you. People might not talk about God. It's a whole lot of people who go to church and do this and do that. They talk about, but they don't They don't fear the Lord. I'm telling you. But for y'all who do, the Lord ain't looking for perfection. He looked for you. Uh just to, to bring you, to, for you to bring, for you to bring you, my words, what's, <laughs> the Lord don't look for perfection. He just wants you to bring him your heart. Did I say that right? I don't know why my words sound funny. <laughs> the Lord wants you to bring you your heart. I don't know why my words are sounding funny. Lord, that was my speech. He wants your heart. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> all right, that's what he's looking for. Not perfection, all right? He know you're going to, he know how you is already. All right. I like that. Good. And so a lot of people who don't fear the Lord who put on the show. All right. <laughs> My English is all messed up this morning, man. <laughs> all right. But it's all good. <clears throat> John chapter 10, verse 22. Uh, the title say further claims over further conflict over Jesus, Jesus claims. <laughs> John chapter 10, verse 22, uh, say, then, then came the festival of dedication <clears throat> at Jerusalem. It was winter, and Jesus was in the temple courts walking in Solomon's colonnade. The Jews who were there gathered around him saying, it's some Jews who believe, some Jews who don't. I told you, you got, you got real people and fake people. <laughs> you got some real Jewish people who are really real believers, and you got some Jewish people who aren't really Jewish people. They could have a bloodline just because of blood. They don't know what I mean. I'm, I'm talking about. What makes you real is the faith. All right? It's those who believe who are included among the real. It don't matter if you got the title or not. You see what I'm saying? But having the title, you got real Jewish people, and you got people who just got the title. They not, they hypocrites. You got real Christian people. You got people who just got the title. They hypocrites. You got real Muslim people, and you got people who just got the title Muslim, and they're hypocrites. All right? The Quran call them Desert Arabs, all right, and a few other names. <clears throat> but either way you go, you got people who believe, people who don't believe, all right? I love the fact that the Lord speaks to the people because a lot of my brother Muslims who read the Quran, they get lost about uh, the Jews when the Quran speak about uh, the Jews and the Christians. It's, it's, it's talking about a certain group of Jews and Christians, the, the group that don't believe. Because if you read, if you keep on reading the Quran, it keep on. It says there are there are some Jews, say beings, and Christians who are of the faith. You see what I'm saying? Where so I love the way in the Bible it, it points out the Jews who don't believe. You see what I'm saying? The Jews who didn't believe there it was some who put Jesus. They put him on the cross. I'm like where? They were, where? Listen, all right. Not everyone got faith. I, well, I like that. So listen, he talking about the ones who don't believe. All right. <clears throat> There are some who do believe, but he, right here, it's talking about the ones who don't. I like that. The Jews who were gathered around him saying, how long will you keep us in suspense? If you are the Messiah, tell us plainly. <laughs> Jesus answered, I did tell you, <laughs> but you do not believe the works I do and my father's name testify about me. But you do not believe because you are not my sheep. My sheep listen to my voice. I know them and they and they follow me. I give them eternal life and they shall never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hand. My father who has given them to me is greater than all. 
No one can snatch them out of my father's hand. I and the father are one. <clears throat> Again, his Jewish opponents picked up stones to stone him. But Jesus tried, but Jesus said to them, I have shown you many good works from the Father. For which of these do you do you stone me? We are not stoning you for any good works, they replied, but for blasphemy. Because you, a mere man, claim to be God. Jesus answered, Is it not written in your law? I have said you are gods. <clears throat> Is it not written in your law? I have said the Lord God speaking. I have said you are gods. If he called them gods, to whom Lord case G, to whom scripture, to whom the word of God came, and scripture cannot be set aside. In the word of in the word of God, God himself spoke at one point in time and told the people. Uh, he, he called them gods, Lord case G. Us as humans are made in the image of God. <laughs> We're similar. Listen to me. If you listen to what the Lord said, we are made in his image. We are human beings. You hear me? But we're made in his image. You hear me? We are not gods as in the ones who manifest everything, but we're made in his image. So in a sense, I'm telling you, it, it works. If you understand that, we made this, we made in his image. All right. I, lo I love what the Lord said. He said, I have said you are gods, Lord case G. If he called them gods, Jesus speaking, if he, talking about God, called them gods, Lord KG, uh, to whom the word of God came, uh, and scripture cannot be set aside. What about the one whom the father set apart at his very own and sent into the world? Where do you see that? Uh, let me keep reading. Why, did, why then do you accuse me of blasphemy? Because I said I am, I am God's son. Don't believe me unless I do the works of my father. But 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 if I do them, even though you do not believe me, I love the fact Jesus said, even though you don't believe me, <laughs> believe what I'm doing. Because if you truly believe what Jesus is doing, it will point you to God. Yeah, yeah. Listen to me. The people didn't believe in Jesus. <clears throat> Jesus said, even though you do not believe me, believe the works. Believe the works that you may know and understand that the Father is in me, and I and, and I. And, and the father again they tried to seize him but he escaped their grasp then jesus went back uh, across the jordan to the place where john had been baptized in the earlier days uh there he stayed and many people came to him they said though though john never performed the sign all that john said about this man was true amen <laughs> though john never performed the sign john everything john said about this man was true speaking about john the baptist the son of zachariah and in that place, many believed in Jesus. Amen. Back up with me. Jesus said in verse 34, Is it not written in your law? <laughs> it's written in the law. I have said you are God's Lord KG. <laughs> and you can't take the law instead of the sad. Where do you see that at, Devontae? Go to Psalms. Go to Psalms 82. Uh, verse 1. It says, God presides in the great assembly. He renders judgment among the gods, Lord KG. How long will you defend the unjust and show partiality to the wicked, the brother saying? Oh no, this this the Lord speaking. How long will you defend the unjust and show partiality to the wicked? Defend the weak and the fatherless. Uphold the cause of the poor and the oppressed. Rescue the weak and the needy. Deliver them from the hand of the wicked. The gods, Lord KG, know nothing. Speaking about us and everything, <laughs> The angels or whatever. The gods, anything you can fathom and think about. The gods, Lord Case G, know nothing. They understand nothing. They walk about, they walk about in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are shaken. I said, this this is our father speaking. I said, you are gods, Lord Case G. You are all sons of the most high. But you will die like mere mortals. But you will die like mere mortals. You will fall like every other rule. Rise up, O oh God, judge the earth, for all the nations are your heirs. All right. I like that. The Lord said to the people at one point in time, you are gods, Lord case G. You are all sons of the, of the most high, but you will die like mere mortals. You will fall away like every other root. Jesus used that on, it's in the law. <clears throat> uh, I love the fact Jesus pointed that out. You hear me? We are all made in the image of God. <laughs> But since sin came into the world and a whole lot of other things, I'm telling you, we die like mere, like mere mortals. All right? Listen, listen. It's, it's a great point right there. 
I love what Jesus said. Jesus said, uh, if he called them gods, Lord KG, to whom the word of God came and scripture cannot be set aside. What about the one whom the father set apart at his very own and sent into the world? <laughs> Jesus is very special. Before Jesus came, he was talked about. You hear me? He's very special. If anybody thinks I'm special, which I'm not, I'm just a son of saved by grace. It ain't a dang thing special about me <laughs> at all. And if anybody attracted to me anything, it ain't nothing but the glory of God shining his light, making people see something. That, that I'm telling you, because ain't nothing special about me, bro. Word, I put my pants on like the next man. Word, word, word. You know what I mean? Word. Anyway, the people God used Jeremiah, uh, Isaiah, uh, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, the prophet Muhammad, uh, Daniel, uh, Joseph, Judah, you name them. Adam, uh, Seth, uh, Noah, whoever you can name or think of, whatever. All right. One nothing special about the people. God, God used them. I mean, it, they they got special. They they had special purposes uh, greater than mine. You see what I'm saying? I'm just saying. But they were regular people like you and me. You see what I'm saying? Adam was special. Uh, now Adam was special. Where <laughs> all mankind come from Adam and Eve. You hear me? I like that. Uh, where Adam was a uh, where it's some it, it was something special about Adam. Like where <laughs> I like that. But never he wasn't perfect. He it was something very. I like that. It was something very special about Adam, but he won't perfect. We all come from Adam. Yeah? Jesus come from Adam, too. I like that. Jesus is, in fact, a type of Adam. You hear me? Yeah, I like that. You hear me? Just Jesus and Adam is, I, I like that so much. Even in the Quran, it, it, it say uh, about, about Jesus and Adam being compared. You hear me? And the Bible say the same thing, too. Jesus is a type of Adam. Just the same, the same exact way death came to all men. Because one death comes to all people because of one man. Because Adam ate that fruit, death comes to all people, you hear me? Because what Jesus did, life comes to all people. If you believe, you hear me? Death comes to all people whether you believe that or not. You ain't got to believe in death. There's a whole lot of people that don't believe in death. They still got to die, you hear me? Word. They, they, word. I'm telling you. That's, uh, but anyway, I'm telling you. Jesus and Adam is, uh, word. Jesus is greater than Adam. But he come, but he come from Adam. Yeah, I like that. He was here before Adam. <laughs> but anyway, uh, where was me going to? Where was me going to? Jesus the Messiah. It was something I was talking about. Uh, something I was talking. I can't think of what I was talking about the last five minutes. So let me drink my coffee. Maybe it'll come back to me. Maybe it won't. Who knows? <laughs> um, what I'm talking about, what? Uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, it ain't nothing. Thank you. It ain't nothing special about me. Uh, the people God used, be, they be normal people. Like the people God put in your life, they be normal people. I'm telling you, <laughs> where they be normal people, man. And any of the angels that God used, if, if God truly using them, <laughs> they'll tell you we're just met, we're just servants, just like y'all. We servants, just like y'all. You hear? I'm telling you, where. A lot of my Christian people be thinking that my Muslim brothers worship angels. Something that it, it just burn, just like it's a lot of Christian people who worship the wrong things, bro. Where I'm telling you, they don't understand a whole lot. They they take stuff out of content. That's in all religions. People take stuff out of content. They don't understand. They don't understand a whole lot sometimes. You hear? Where? But it be people who where like the same. I'm telling you, listen to me. Where a lot of my Christian people think my Muslim brothers worship the angels because of the way the angel Gabriel speaks to the people in the Holy Quran. God using the angel Gabriel as a uh, as a uh, as a spokesman. You hear me? The same way God used Joseph. I, there's an excellent story in the Bible about Joseph, the son of Jacob. When God was using him, God used him and made him like and made him like God to Pharaoh. You hear him? And, and in the presence of Pharaoh, Joseph was like God. You hear him? Joseph, Joseph had a dream that his brothers and his mother and father was bowing down to him. You hear me? His father thought this was some type of a blasphemous dream because only God can receive worship. It was God who gave Joseph the dream. You hear me? Two, two dreams, two different, two different sets, but with the same meaning. You hear it? I'm telling you. When God using a person, God take the, the Bible says, if I can find him real quick. Uh, Lord, give it to me. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It's somewhere. It's somewhere. Bear with me. 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 
Psalms 15, verse 1, Brother David said, Lord, who may dwell in your sacred tent? Who may live on your holy mountain? The one whose walk is blank. The one, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is that it? No, it's, it's another one that sounds just like that. It's somewhere. Y'all bear with me. It sounds just like that, though. Psalms 24, verse 1, Brother David said, The earth is the Lord's, and everything in it, the world and all who live in it. For he founded it on the seas and established, on the, and established it on the waters. Who may ascend the mountain of the Lord? Who may go up to the mountain of the Lord? Who may stand in his holy place? Who may stand in his holy place? To stand in the presence of God. <laughs> you hear me? If God ever allow anyone to stand in his holy place, to the people you will almost be like God. The people valued Moses highly. The people value my brother Christians get get lost with my brother Moses because of the way they look to Gabriel. They they not worshiping Gabriel. God is using Gabriel to speak to the people. You hear me? They accepting Gabriel. They, they just accept the message that God speaking to, to Gabriel. That the Lord using Gabriel to speak to the people through. You hear me? My, a lot of my Christian brothers think my Muslim brothers worshiping the angel Gabriel. Nah, God using him. You hear me? The same way God used the angel Gabriel to go to the Virgin Mary and speak to the people. Now, now people, man, man end up making stuff bigger than what they supposed to be. You hear me? They do that just like the same way in the Quran. It's, it says quite clear. Jesus, did we tell you uh, to build a, uh, that you or your mother to be worshiped? Nah. Jesus ain't never tell the people to build statues, gold statues to no I mean, word. The Lord Jesus Jesus' word lines up in Exodus. The Lord never told the people to build no image of him. You see what I'm saying? Never. God Jesus ain't never tell us to worship Mary, his mother. Never. People people come up with their own ideas and theories. You see what I'm saying? A lot of my brother Muslims think that the Christians we got a statue somewhere, uh, Jesus and, and Mary, statues. We ain't got no statues. Well, some people probably got statues or whatever, you know what I mean? But they doing stuff wrong. I ain't got I ain't got no statues in my home, bro, of Jesus or Mary nowhere. How, how, how you believe in him? It's all through faith. God told us to believe in Jesus. Accept, accept, listen to what he say. Amen. True, 100%. Where, where, where you see something wrong with that? Nothing. Because Jesus told us, Jesus pointed us to God, our Father. Word, everything Jesus said was true. Word, it's the people who make something out of it more than what it's supposed to be. And they get lost in the sauce somewhere. And word, cause, and people don't read and, and actually pay attention to what's being said. But anyway, uh, what was I talking about? A lot of my Christian brothers get lost with my Muslim brothers because of the way God used the angel Gabriel to speak to the people. <clears throat> All right. The whole book, the whole Holy Quran is a book of revelations. It's hard to understand unless you got the Holy Spirit. And even with the Holy Spirit, you're not going to understand everything because everything is not meant for you to be understood. You have a big head. <laughs> anyway, I don't like understanding everything, bro, because sometimes I just sit back and chill. But listen, uh, God used the angel Gabriel to speak to the people. A lot of my, my Christian brothers can't understand it. It's a lot of Christians that don't understand their own Bible, let alone how you going to get into somebody else's stuff. <laughs> yeah, they don't understand. All right, so you need to understand what you're reading first before you can read something else. All right, but anyway, when God uses somebody, anybody, a person, a pharaoh, a king, or an angel, where because he use he, the Lord able to use anything He want to use to the people, they look like God, but they are where, but the the people they they never where. Listen, listen, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, hundred percent. Who may, who may ascend the mountain of the Lord? Who may stand in his holy place? <laughs> All right. Joseph's father, Jacob, uh, started to rebuke him because it looked like this dream was blasphemy. But it was God who gave Joseph the dream that he was going to be used in the, pre in the presence of God. Where God used Joseph. It's an excellent story. Excellent story. With an excellent lesson if you read it. All right. Where was I going, student? Where was me going to? Where was me going to? Uh, I got five minutes. Jesus the Messiah. I can say that. <clears throat> I can read that real quick. I didn't think I was going to be that long. Mm -hmm. My A whole lot of my Jewish brothers understood the Messiah was the son of God. 
but rejected Jesus for making that claim. <laughs> they accepted one thing, but rejected another. <laughs> Uh, my, my Jewish brothers understand and believe that the Messiah is the Son of God. <laughs> Where, but when Jesus made that claim, they put him on the cross. That's that's what that was what that was what, that was the charge they they killed him for <laughs> for for claiming to be the Messiah. <laughs> they believed the Messiah was coming, but when Jesus made that claim, they rejected him. All right, <laughs> uh, they believed one but rejected the other. My Muslim brothers believe Jesus is, is the Messiah but reject that uh, God, that he is the son of God. <laughs> a lot of my Muslim brothers don't believe that the Messiah is the son of God. <laughs> that's what the title name, that, that, that's what the phrase, it means that, you hear me? It means Israel's savior, like God, the one God sent. <laughs> but in scripture, when God spoke to David, if you read the Bible, <laughs> David is clearly listed as a prophet. <laughs> God spoke to David and told him about the Messiah coming and said, I will be his, he, he, I will be his father. He will be my son. <laughs> the Messiah has the right to claim to be the son of God. <laughs> Word. <laughs> they, they, uh, my, my brother Muslims accept that Jesus Christ is the Messiah. In the Quran, in the text, he is listed as the Messiah. Yeah. <laughs> but they don't understand that he's the son of God. They accept one, but reject another. <laughs> uh, a lot of my Christian brothers, uh, <laughs> it's so many churches over here, <laughs> and people go to church all the time on Sunday. They go to church uh, to be a, they, 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 they go to church. <laughs> they try to do Christianity without Jesus. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> they accept one thing, but they, 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 <laughs> They want Jesus, but they reject everything Jesus teach them to do. You see what I'm saying? They accept one. Jesus, Jesus lined up the word too. Listen to me. Jesus, Jesus was said clearer than I can. All right. Uh, go to Matthew seven. It's a whole lot of people go to church on Sunday all the time. They want to be around Jesus, but they don't want Jesus to be Lord to be the Lord of their life. You see what I'm saying? They don't listen. They don't listen to what Jesus telling them to do. Where uh, Jesus said in Matthew chapter seven, verse twenty one. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the one who does the will of my Father in, who is in heaven. Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name, and in your name drive out demons, and in your name perform many miracles? Then I will tell them plainly, I never knew you. Away from me, you evildoers. <laughs> There's so many people who claim to know Jesus and this and that, a whole lot of Christians who, uh, I'm telling you, <laughs> uh, they have said one thing. But they reject another. These, you know, and that, that's so sad, bro, to be so close to how the word is so close. And but to to reject what the Lord's saying to you at the same time. You see what I'm saying? Word. Because in their heart, they want to do their own thing or whatever. Like, word. Uh, Matthew 15, uh, verse 1. Uh, Say, then some Pharisees and teachers of the law came to Jesus from Jerusalem and asked, why do your disciples break the, the tradition of the elders? They don't wash their hands before they eat. <laughs> Jesus replied, and why do you break the command of God for the sake of your tradition? <laughs> for God said, honor your father and mother, and anyone who curses their father and mother is to be put to death. But you say that if anyone declares that what might have been used to help their father and mother is devoted to God, they are not to honor their father and mother with it. Thus, you nullify the word of God for the sake of your tradition. You hypocrites, Jesus speaking on the people, you hypocrites, Isaiah was right when he prophesied about you. These people honor me with their lips. A whole lot of people just honor Jesus with their lips. <laughs> uh, but the, the whole lot of people honor God with their lips. But their hearts are far from me. This is Jesus speaking about the people. Jesus is getting on the Christian people <laughs> uh, who, were, who want to be around him or whatever. Right. These people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. They, they worship me in vain. A whole lot of people just use God's name in vain, bro. <laughs> they worship him in vain. They own church every They go to church every Sunday, but it's all in vain. It's repetition. It's, it's for somebody to be seen, talked about. <laughs> it ain't no... Eat bread. <laughs> you know how I many people dress up and look nice on Sunday, this and that, <laughs> and and that's all you gotta do is go home and sit with them and ask them, be around somebody for a whole day, <laughs> and you will see for yourself. All you gotta do is go sit with somebody, be around them for one whole day, ride with somebody for the whole day, <laughs> and just see how their life is. Nobody's life is perfect, but you will see. <laughs> and some people, bro, 
They might be sweaty or dirty on the outside, but they got a beautiful heart. You hear them? The outside don't mean too much. <laughs> but sit around with some people for a little while, and you'll see how the inside is. Oh, these people got a nasty heart. All they do is talk about people. They just want to get stuff from people. They just want to use people, manipulate people, put burdens on people. <laughs> Word. And then try to come here, and I'm glad it ain't like these people. Or whatever, like how the, how the dudes say, but he gave it to the story about the pair of two, two, two dudes. <laughs> I thank God I ain't like these people. I do this, I do that. I got this going on. You know what I mean? Where? And they go home, they feel good. <laughs> Where? And Jesus said, they, their teaching to me is, is in vain. Their teaching are merely human rules. <clears throat> Jesus talking about the people <laughs> who, uh, about the Christians, like a lot of people who, so-called Christian, you know what I mean? There's some people who real, but a lot of people, Jesus be getting up. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> they accept one thing. They accept that uh, they accept that uh, Jesus or whatever. They accept Jesus, but they reject what he asking them to do. <laughs> Where? You see what I'm saying? Uh, Matthew, Luke, Luke chapter 6. Uh, verses 46, Luke chapter 6, verse 46. Uh, Jesus said, why do you call me Lord, Lord, and do not do what I say? <laughs> As many people who call Jesus Lord, but don't do what he say. <laughs> why do you call him Lord then? <laughs> you accept one thing, but rejecting another. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Uh, as for everyone who comes to me, listen, and hear my words, and puts them into practice, I will show you what they are like. They are like a man building a house who dug down deep and laid the foundation on rock. Huh? Anyone who tastes, anybody who tastes God's word, you hear me? I don't care if you're Jewish, Christian, Muslim, wherever you're coming from. It's people who don't even believe in God, yet they take God at his word. How is that, Devontae? You just said they don't believe in God. There's many people out here. I was talking to one of my friends out there. He said, man, I don't read the Bible, but I find myself doing things that's in the Bible. God said, I'm going to put my law in their minds and in their hearts. You hear me? I'm telling you, anybody who obey the Lord from their heart, and I'm telling you, and doing with the Lord, it's many people who do what God asks them to do, and they don't even know it. They doing it. They 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 are doing it unknowingly. You hear me? And that's why God be blessing people. I'm telling you, they taking care of their family. They doing something right. They not being they not being cruel or mean out here. They not uh they not being uh. They, they, they're not a problem in the community. I'm telling you, they, they taking care of somebody. They're doing something. They, they, they don't know God. The two greatest commandments is love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, and soul. Okay. They don't know God, so how can they love, do, love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, and soul? The second commandment, just like it, love your neighbor as yourself. It's some people who love people just like themselves, bro. I'm God bless people. <laughs> they could get even, but they don't get even. They can easily do something to people that have been done to them, but they don't do it. What? The Bible say, <laughs> Uh, turn from anger. Uh, I'm, tell it's, I'm telling you, it's, it's, there are many people who be doing things God asks them to do unknown. And God show favor to them people. The Bible say God show favor to the humble. There's many people who be humble. <laughs> These people don't go to church and don't do this, but they are very humble people. You hear me? And God will show favor to them people. Versus the proud, God shows favor to the humble. <laughs> but the proud, uh, he might, but you know the word, John? <laughs> word. Uh, we'll somewhere. I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, God, God opposes, opposes the proud, but shows favor to the humble. Uh, James chapter 4, verse 6. You see? <clears throat> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. As many of my... People will be confused. <laughs> it's like uh, a whole lot of my Muslim brothers be lost. They can't read the Quran. They get lost. They, I, I promise it's a whole lot of people that can't get out of the third chapter. <laughs> they get lost, bro, because um, they don't understand what, how the Lord is speaking. It's like a whole lot of my people, in the, uh, a whole lot of Christians don't know what they're reading in the Bible, bro. But uh, in the in the Quran, it say God don't mislead. <laughs> you hear me? But if you read, if you go to... Uh, uh, the Quran chapter 2, verse 26. God will mislead evildoers. <laughs> it just said God don't mislead. <laughs> just, just, it's just like this. <laughs> God don't tempt nobody, right? Nah, but he will. If you 
if you choose, he, he, he will allow you to be tempted. <laughs> if you want to make the, you know what I mean? If, if you don't want to serve God, God will let you to be ruled by other things. I love that. <laughs> Where, I, I love that so much. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> the people can't understand that. God God give you free will. If you don't want to obey him, where he will <laughs> tell him. God don't mislead, but he will, he will allow you to be misled. <laughs> All right? Other words, he, he, <laughs> they, they can't understand that. Uh, in the Quran, chapter 35, Verses 1 through 10, it's, it's some verses that say God will lead astray uh, whomever he wills. You just said God don't uh, lead nobody astray. <laughs> He's not going to lead you astray directly, but he will allow you to be led astray <laughs> somehow, some way. <laughs> where it's a nice, where I'm telling you, I like that. Because it, it don't line up with the Bible. And a whole lot of my Muslim brothers can't understand that. <laughs> and they get lost, they get confused or whatever, they kind of get nervous. Don't get nervous, lost, or confused. You got to understand how the Lord speaking. <laughs> where the Lord ain't saying one thing, and he's not being contradictive. Where <laughs> is you got free will? You see what I'm saying? <laughs> a whole lot of people can't. I'm telling you, because they get lost. <laughs> if you read it, the Bible and the Quran clearly say that the Lord sent uh, God sent the angel Gabriel to the Virgin Mary <laughs> and told her that the Holy Spirit gonna overshadow her, and she gonna have a son. His name gonna be Jesus. Amen. <laughs> it takes two to have a baby. All right, God don't forget. If you read the Bible, when people have Children, it says Abraham begot Isaac, Isaac begot Jacob, Jacob begot Judah, Judah begot, you know, I'm so and so on. That's how we have sex. God don't begot. I 100% agree with the Quran. God don't begot, nor was he begot. So, how will God have a son then, Devontae? All he got to do is speak a word. <laughs> That's the word. He's not contradicting himself. <laughs> God, God able to do anything he want to do. He, he made mankind. God created human beings. He created a man and he made a woman out of a man. And he he allowed women to have children. You think God can you is it is it so hard for God to create women to have children, but he can't he can't have children himself? You accept one but reject another? We can have children. Are we greater than God? He can't have children? He made us. Are we greater than him? God can do all things, the Bible and the Quran said. Yeah, <laughs> the Bible and the Quran say that God sent the angel Gabriel to Mary. <laughs> Gabriel told Mary, you're going to have a son. Mary said, how this going to happen? The Holy Spirit going to overshadow you and where you're going to have a son. <laughs> the Holy Spirit is, is Jesus' father. God is spirit, ain't he? Yeah, God our father is a spirit. <laughs> and he operates through his spirit, uh, his Holy Spirit. <laughs> Jesus the Messiah, ain't he? That's what the Quran said. The Bible said the Messiah is the Son of God. But the Jewish people killed Jesus for claiming to be the Messiah. Jesus went to the cross free will. He did it for you and for me. You hear me? The Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit will allow you to see what people can't see. I'm telling you. The Holy Spirit right there. <laughs> Where you see Jesus at, you clearly see the Holy Spirit. The Quran clearly says we sent Jesus and gave him clear signs with the Holy Spirit as a, with evidence. <laughs> Keep on asking the Lord for the Holy Spirit. He's going to give it to you. It's the Holy Spirit leading the Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus is going to lead us to be on with our Father in heaven one day and get up out of this place. You did. Until then, y'all keep on waking up, taking y'all time. Keep on praying for him. I keep praying for y'all too. I hope the Holy Spirit overshadow y'all and just anoint y'all and Show y'all what y'all can't see. Amen. I love y'all. I see y'all.